all right friends welcome back to another video on building real-time messaging platform with laravel and liveware and in this video we'll be working on sending the message and showing it on real time without refreshing the page so let's get started so let me go to list conversation and messages.blade.psv file and let me go to input over here and for that input let's add a wire model dot d4 equals let's say body okay and while submitting the form let's do wire submit prevent the default behavior and call the method called send message okay and now let me go to list conversation and messages and over here let me define that method public function send message and let's do die and dump here now let me go over here refresh it and write some message and click on send it is not working if i press enter then it is sending this message but it is saying that property body not found on the component so let's define that public property called body public body and let me try that one more time and we call that method right but this send button is not working so let me go to list conversations and instead of button types button let's change this to button type summit now if i write hi and click over here then it is submitting that form which is perfect now let's go back to list conversation and messages and on this method let me do die and dump this body if I write something, press enter, then we get that body, right? Now we can create the message by simply doing message, create, and while creating the message, we need to pass conversation ID. So if I go to this messages table over here, we need conversation ID, user ID, and the message body, right? So we can pass those values conversation ID is the selected conversation ID right this selected conversation ID so for that we can do this selected conversation and ID and for user ID is the authenticated user ID so we can do auth ID and for the body we can get the body using this body right and the message will get created so if i save this and then let me go over here refresh it and let me type some message let's say hello and press enter and we are getting mass assignment error so let's fix that let me go to message and over here let's do protected guarded as empty array let me refresh it try one more time press enter and the message got sent and the thing you notice is we don't see that message over here and this is not cleared yet but if we go to database and refresh it we get that message right so first of all let's clear this input after submitting that form right so for that let me go to list conversation and messages and over here we can reset that using this reset and we want to reset the body now let me go back refresh it we see that message let me try one more time hello and the message got sent it is displayed over here as well but it is not displayed here if you go to database and this is stored as well so now let's fix this part the messages are not displaying over here because while creating the message we created the message and reset the body but if we go to list conversation and messages so to display the messages we are using the selected conversation uh, variable and we are calling the messages relationship right actually we are getting these old items because this is not sensed so to change that uh, variable let me go over list conversation and messages and we need to assign that variable a new conversations right so for that we can simply call this method from here so this view message with this selected conversation id and if i refresh it we will see that message 
uh, let me delete those two messages first now let me refresh it you see that message and if I try to send another message and it got cleared from here and it is also displayed over here as well which is very cool right so if I go to this user and let me type message click enter and the message got sent see how cool this is right now let me log in as this user so if we go to users and let me search for that user uh, this is the user this user email is this one and now let me open up a new incognito window and over here let's run that project let me log in as that user which is user at example.com and the password is password and we logged in successfully now let me go to messages and we see that messages let me put it over here and this tab is here so that we can see two different windows let me go to messages and select this user and let me send the message from here if I press enter this message got sent but it is not displayed here right so we need to make this to display it on real time but if I refresh that page this message is displayed right we get that message but instead of refreshing the page uh, we need to refresh that automatically right so for this we'll be using one powerful live wire directory called wire pool so let me show you how that works so if I go to list conversation and messages and let me go to the top and add the directory called wire pool okay so now if I save this and refresh this page let me open up the console and let me go to network tab and on the network tab we are sending ajax request every two seconds right so while using wire pool it refreshes our component uh, meaning that it will send ajax request every two seconds by default and for that to show you let me go to this conversation and messages and let me go to the render method and put dd here and if i save this and we are calling that method right every two seconds let me remove this from here if I go to list conversations then this is also rendered every two seconds so to show you let me do die and dump here again and and we see that text right so one thing to notice is never ever put this wire pool inside of this for each loop because if you put that wire pool inside of for each loop then you will be sending lots of multiple ajax requests to the server so make sure not to put that inside of for each loop now let me put this browser window over here another window on the left side and let me refresh one more time on both of the window let me close this one and let me select this user we are chatting with this one and we see this message right now let me reply this press enter this message got sent and if we scroll it we see that message with a refresh in the page and this is awesome see how cool this is let me send message again message got sent and we received that message here as well so this is the beauty of pulling with liveware that's it for this video and i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one <music>